I am now going to do some identities with you. Grade 12, I cannot start identities once again if I don't know my fundamentals, if I don't know my foundation. So in the identities, I want you to write this again. Take notes down, very important notes. Write identities. What must I know? Two very simple things. When I see tan theta, I change it to sin theta over cos theta. That's your most important one. And then the second one is that sin squared theta plus cos squared theta is equal to 1. Sin squared plus cos squared is equal to 1. Remember quickly, if I just want cos squared theta alone, I take the sin squared across and it's 1 minus sin squared theta. And if I just want my sin squared theta alone, it is 1 minus cos squared theta. These are the foundation identities that you need to know before you can answer a question. While you're all writing this down, somebody asked me, ma'am, how do you know how many blocks do you have to move? Remember, a block is 90. And so one block is 90. Two blocks will be 180. Three blocks will be 270. Four blocks will be 360. So you're moving in blocks of 90. If it's plus 90, plus 90, you go anti-clockwise from your theta or your minus theta. If it is a negative angle, then you go clockwise. So clockwise is your negative angles. Anti-clockwise is your positive angles. And a block is 90. I hope you get that now. I hope that everybody wrote down that tan is sin over cos. The next one is your square identity. Sin squared plus cos squared is 1. Cos squared is 1 minus sin squared. I just took the sin squared over. And sin squared is 1 minus cos squared. With this, you can go try our first identity. I'm going to write the identity for you again. And I'm going to ask you all to write it down. And I'm going to do the first identity. And you can try and do the second identity. Okay, first identity. This is example number one. Grade 12, I brought my own examples as well. It is not as it is in the book, exactly as it is in the book that you got. I just started with something more simple. And I have this one sum. The show... I want you to write this down. Show that the cos of x divided by 1 plus the sin of x plus the tan of x is equal to 1 over cos x. What is an identity? I must try and prove that my left-hand side is equal to my right-hand side. If my left-hand side is too difficult, you can work from the right-hand side if there is something to do. But the majority of the time we work on the left-hand side, this is my left-hand side, and we try and prove that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Okay. Okay, right. I've just looked at that question quickly so that I know that you all understand. You get this in an exam. You look at it and you think, oh my goodness, usually identities are answered so poorly and you think, oh, what must I do? Can you go through this thinking process? Look at your identity. Look what I have in front of me. Cos of x over 1 plus an x plus the tan of x must be equal to that. You first check. Change that tan to sin over cos. That's your first step. So we are going to change this. We're going to change the tan x to sin over cos. So this is cos x. Leave it like that. Leave the 1 plus sin x. Remember there is no square here. So it is not an identity. 1 plus sin x remains 1 plus sin x. And we're going to change the tan to what everybody? Sin x over cos x. And we do not write our right hand side down because we haven't proven it yet. I haven't shown anything yet, so I'm just working on my left-hand side. Now I'm going to go very slowly. What do I have now? I have two fractions. That fraction plus that fraction. 
Now, when we were in grade seven, we did fractions where we added. So I just want to show you quickly. If I have two thirds plus a half, what do I do? I find an LCD, my LCD is six. I say three goes into six two times, and I times by my top. Three goes into six two times, two times two is four. Plus, two goes into six three times, three times one is three, and my answer is seven over six. Grade 12, you're most probably thinking, why is, why is Mrs. Splinter showing me this? Because the exact same concept that we are using here, we're going to use in this sum. I have a fraction plus a fraction, so I'm going to find an LCD. The LCD for this sum is everything written at the bottom. It is 1 plus sin x times cos x. Everything at the bottom, that is my LCD. So I have my LCD, 1 plus sin x, multiply by the cos of x. And that is my LCD, so I am going to do exactly what I did here. This goes into my LCD cos x times. Because remember that, and that can cancel. When you divide this into your LCD, you have a cos x less left. I also, te also teach my students, if they're struggling with this concept, I tell them, what do I have here that I do not have here? Again, what do I have here that I do not have there? Cos of x. So you take that cos of x and you times it by the top. And cos x times cos x is cos squared x. I hope everybody got that. That is cos squared x plus. Now we've got the left-hand side. Remember I said this is the left-hand side. This is my left-hand side. I'm not working on the right-hand side. I'm trying to get the left equal to the right. I wrote left-hand side there. Again, I'm by my second fraction. What do I have here that I do not have there? Look carefully. What do I have in my LCD that I do not have there? 1 plus sin x. And what must I do with that 1 plus sin x? I must multiply it with the sin x on top. So I am going to say sin x multiplied by 1 plus the sin of x. I hope you all understand the top part. I hope you all get that. And now all I'm going to do is to multiply in, multiply in. I'm going to multiply in and in and I get cos squared x plus sin x times 1 is sin x. Sin x times sin x is sin squared x. Divided by your LCD. Remember, you can't come drop your LCD because you're not solving for x. You just leave your LCD there. And I have 1 plus sin x times cos x. I'm just rewriting my LCD. What is your goal? What is your goal in the sum? To get to the right-hand side. You want to get to 1 over cos x. Grade 12, I'm going to shift this up a little. Okay, what do you see? Work with me. Is it true that cos squared plus sin squared is 1? It doesn't have to be sin squared plus cos squared. It can be cos squared plus sin squared. They don't have to stand next to each other as long as you see it. There's your cos squared plus your sin squared. That gives me 1. Plus the sin of x on top, that is what I have on top, divided by my LCD, which is 1 plus sin x times cos x. Can I cancel? Of course you can cancel. There are no signs separating those brackets. 1 plus sin x can cancel with that 1 plus sin x. What do I have left on top? 1 over, what do I have left at the bottom? Cos x. And you breathe a sigh of relief because what do you see? It is equal to my right hand side. 1 over cos x is equal to 1 over cos x and you have just proven it. Grade 12, nowhere 
Do you see any equal to signs here? No equal to signs until I have proven my right hand side. That was a very good sum to start with. To see if you can start with tan x is sin of a cos. That is a good sum to start with. I took it from a grade 11 textbook. But now we are about to do the one that is in your telematics book.